it's very important to give um, guidance to staff, and we have some newly um, seated supervisors that I think are, it would be helpful to uh -huh. have some sort of oversight and support mm -hmm. with what they're doing. Uh -huh. um, we talked about the pay grade compensation project that's uh -huh. completed that was done. We talked about that in our budget meeting and also that the preliminary budget. So I'm learning a lot about how the library functions on I always knew about the, the book budget and the materials budget, but now I'm learning much more about the other part of the budget as well. Just a question, Gail. Has yes. there been any negative comment on the pay grade scale, uh, grade being put, in, put into uh, effect? The people who were, I have heard many positive comments. Right. Many, um, both Betty and I got a thank you note from thanking us for Good. doing this. Um, in all honesty, some people there was an issue with seeing the pay grade. Um, Heather felt it was very important to be totally transparent. Mm -hmm. And for some people, it was a little difficult to see. What somebody. Right. Yeah. It was always there. Understand. It was always there and available for people to look at. But this was easier this was, for them yeah. to look at. And, and in all honesty, that caused some issues with people who were on the lower end of that mm -hmm. um, but but I've not heard of one negative about you know thank you for recognizing the work that I do and in increasing my pay <laughs> um, so yeah that would be yeah, a, I said no huh well, right. it's so much more right fair and equitable right right know, to have it this way so. and it was lovely because there were 42 staff members yeah who who got that's this. a big amount right. how many right. staff do we have over 90 yeah I so it was a, a big a big chunk of the staff, uh -huh. which was lovely. And it was the people who were at the lower end to bring them up to what the prevailing wage should have been uh -huh. for them all along. And then um, and then if people who were already there <coughs> for their certain years of service uh -huh. that raised them up as uh -huh. well. Okay. So yeah, it was a lovely project to Good. have accomplished. The facilities and um, furnishings, Betty, if you want to speak to that, or I can just go ahead and say that the, the landscaping project is going to move forward, mm -hmm. um, which is wonderful. I think that we are, even though there's the interim director, co-directors, there are certain certain projects that I think need to be led by the new director, but uh -huh. there's other things that we feel very comfortable that we've already started working on that we're going to move forward on. Okay. There's one thing I want to say about that. Betty and I met with them because one of the pieces, we probably would have added it anyway, but it was particularly important under the circumstances is to get a construction manager because uh, Betty and Gail already have full-time jobs, and so there's mm -hmm. not a Plus. director who can, <laughs> in place, and we, right. of course we had right. a construction manager for the great, right. for other projects we did. I don't know whether we would have gone that direction or not. I think we probably would because I it was enough. So. But, yeah. so we met with the folks that, um, uh, Tesca's recommending that we hire as a construction manager, mm -hmm. um, and, we can anticipate having a proposal from them from the June meeting as to what their fee would be, as opposed to the mm -hmm. HVAC people who they practically moved in with us. <laughs> uh, that won't be the case with the uh, landscaping. It's, it'll be, they're a local firm, he'll be checking in, making mm -hmm. sure like they, a weekly site meeting, that kind of thing. Yeah, and you know, because it, it just, it's really the only way to have the project, I think, move right. forward in a fair mm -hmm. way for a, the existing leadership well, structure. Who knows just so you know what they're doing, right? right. Well, the, the nature of the projects was also very different. Yes. Uh, every part of the internal operations were impacted by the last project. Mm -hmm. right. Because when you're changing ventilation mm -hmm. and integrating old systems that didn't always work well together, you're changing things everywhere. 
then you seal up the walls and nobody can see it. <laughs> um, but this one, you know, there are several different pieces. There's landscaping piece, there's putting in the concrete, there's putting the, the melt system, you know, mm -hmm. checking carefully every bench that makes sure that it right. meets specs and but all But it's that all stuff. outside. It's all outside. <laughs> well, and also, and one of the things they talked a little yeah. bit about themselves, because yeah. they've done a, a yeah. fair amount of uh, too, uh, hospital, um, renovation projects as construction manager, landscape and stuff, they're very familiar with making sure that patron flow continues mm -hmm. and, and right. you know, with bringing in signage when necessary and uh, those safety. things. Yeah, so I think that'll, that'll be good. I, they mapped out a schedule, which, as I said at the last meeting, I got confused on. They anticipate um, bringing stuff before the June meeting. We would approve the bid packages at the July meeting, which would then go out for a 30-day. We're a 30-day bid, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So that means the bids would come back the end of August, mm -hmm. and we may after the August board meeting. So there will probably have to do a board meeting in September, early September, mm -hmm. like right a away. special meeting. To yes. uh, approve the bids. But the one or the other thing that's good is the construction manager will evalu evaluate all the bidders, yeah. you know, that's check great. references, good. be able to give, you know, uh, you know, <coughs> drum up business to start with, make sure that the appropriate parties are are aware of the bid and give us a recommendation as to who we should, which bid we should accept. Good. That so sounds that, great. So I think that's, um, I think it's good. I feel a little confident that this project will be handled. Okay. So the, any of that, so good. that's that's that part on the that's landscaping. Sorry. Good. Good. Thank you. So uh, we had our April twenty second our visit from Amor Tall's the One Book Everyone Reads program. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the gentleman in Moscow, <coughs> it was very, very well attended, um, over attended. <laughs> um, <laughs> but everyone, we, I mean, we, Betty did a fabulous job of crowd control because oh, it was, it was very difficult. <laughs> um, it was stressful. It yeah. was stressful oh, yes. because the it worked out great. Well, met Junior High probably seats about 600 people. Yeah. And we would, pardon me? 625. Oh, 625. <laughs> <laughs> but it was going. And there was approximately 800 yeah. people there, we yeah. think. Yeah. Isn't that what you said, Betty? Well, we had to turn well oh, to turn yeah. away. Yeah. Right, all right. No, no, not, it, we so didn't break any rules. Right. 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 Yes. And the, the author was trying to get as many people in as he possibly could. And that was against fire code to have people on the stage, so and in the aisles. <laughs> so, but it all worked out. Also, um, his presentation was very similar to another presentation that he had done previously at a national book festival. festival. Mm -hmm. And so we made that available to patrons who weren't able to come. Good. Good. Um, so. And we've got very few complaints. People understood. It was just like amazing that so many people, I, I think there are people from Wisconsin that came. Wow. Um, it, it just, he's a big draw. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and it was very good. It, he was very Absolutely. good. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. the other programs around this one book, Everyone Reads, mm -hmm. was also well received and well attended. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, really, what the Obert group does. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, really, kudos to you guys. Uh, no, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's grown. Is this the 12th year? I think you want to say the 13th. Oh, the 13th, 14th. 13th. Yeah, I mean, but it's amazing sense, how it's grown and mm -hmm. um, the caliber of authors yeah. that we get to come to Wilmette is just really yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, so the spring story time walk, or story walk, story is the giant jumpery. You all have to go over to <coughs> Batman Park and walk around the park and read the story. And we are going to have our lots of programs, lots of uh, the summer reading clubs are going to happen. Honestly, I just got the email for the spring is sprung and will matter wherever it's at. It's amazing how many fabulous programs we have here. Uh -huh. um, and, okay, the migration to Polaris. So, it's gone relatively smoothly, but there, there are issues. There's been issues with notices not being sent. Um, and then 
It's it's a huge when you think about all of the number of patrons, the number of books, the yeah. number of items, that everything that we have. I think in that sense it's gone well, but clearly there have been bumps that we're working on internally, and we're also CCS, our consortium is also working on as well. Okay. So. Um, but so all the libraries go over to this at the same right. time. Okay. Right. And um, it's interesting, the staff, I think that the, once it's all working, like the automatic renewals is fabulous. Yeah. Um, we've also made the change mm -hmm. where new books can re be renewed twice because the governing board of CCS said, if you're going to send out your new books and receive new books, then you have to have them at least have a two renewal limit. So we thought you'd be happy about the two <laughs> renewal limit. So, it's you know, already I just, happened. Uh, it, what I find is some of the search function is sort of, I haven't quite figured it out. That's, that's where I'm having trouble. Like, I'm searching for a book by an author. And I'm sure it's quite obvious, but I can't make the most recent right. book come well, up at the top. Because right. I don't care that he wrote well, one in 1945. Right, 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 I want right. the one he wrote last week. Well, I think that's going to improve over time because it's doing relevancy and it's looking for mm -hmm. how many people have searched that particular book or that particular author. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to self-correct a little bit mm -hmm. as we get going. But, but yes, you're right. And then there's always the, the facets on yeah, that one is driving me crazy too. But okay. I'll learn. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk about it. I mean, about I mean it usually is. the answer yeah, yeah. is user error. No. <laughs> well, the comment that we have in our yeah yeah you know, you've seen that, that a number of those right. are is that kind of yeah. thing. Okay. There was also that period of time when we were through the migration mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. nothing did happen, and so um, there weren't notices there. There are things that need to be worked out, but um, ultimately, I think the features of Polaris, the system is made for public libraries. I think there's some newer things that they have a, one function, it's called Feature It, where you can, when a patron puts in a search, let's say for genealogy, they just search that. Then you can feature that you have genealogy databases, mm -hmm. and it'll say it'll come up and say, "Do you know that we have Ancestry.com or Heritage Quest?" Also, you could say, "Do you know that we're having a program July 21st about how to find your ancestors in Spain?" Oh, wow. So, I mean, there's features that I think once we're once all the wrinkles are ironed out, I think it's actually going to be a really good system for everybody. Mm -hmm. And the auto renewals are really. Mm -hmm. Does auto renewal work for just books or for every item no, no. checked out? No, okay. no. As long as it can be renewed. I see. Okay. Um, like the hot picks, you can't. So that obviously it won't work for. But mm -hmm. anything that can be renewed that doesn't have a hold on it, okay. then you'd have to bring it back. When will the app be adjusted to fit? Well, they. It, that was one of the things that we liked about it, so you're not liking the looking at your phone. I, I have to go to the website. I Wait. can't get on with the app. But you yeah, need the talk. Bootsy app? No, no, no. Bootsy works. The Bootsy right. works, right. But not the uh, Wilmette Public Library app in terms of the search is not working that well. Mm -hmm. But I'll go downstairs. I'll take a, right. I mean, let, talk to one of us. That. Yeah. We'll have to look at that. Um, so our fiber is up and running, mm -hmm. which is great, and there's minimal disruption to our patrons, so that's fabulous. And hopefully, hopefully we'll have no more minimal disruptions <laughs> to the internet going down. Mm -hmm. um, when did it go up, and has anyone have they noticed the difference? Patrons, or staff, noticed the difference. We've. In terms of, well, it went up April, not 17th, but the 24th. The, mm -hmm. So the 17th was the migration, the 24th was the fiber. Well, it, I mean, we haven't had it down since, so that's hard to notice. I mean, what you're noticing is how reliable it is. In terms of speed, I, I, mm, no. But you know what, and you'll feel it, like on nights when it's like the study nights and everything is... I mean, there's so much mm -hmm. usage, then you'll notice that. Okay. But I think just on a normal, like it's, we when were pretty fast be. before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right, I think it'll have more of a capacity. Hmm. Um, 
We did have an incident in the computer room today that, um, and it's a very, it's an interesting um, concept. A patron was looking at um, a website that was making the staff and other patrons in the room uncomfortable, and he, the patron was asked to stop looking at that website, and he chose not to. And the problem with the website, the problem with the room mm -hmm. is that, or the, the structure of the room is that the screens are visible mm -hmm. from, especially when you're walking down that hallway. Yeah. And um, so because he wouldn't leave and then he wouldn't stop and then wouldn't leave when he was asked to leave, the police did come to the library and escorted him out. Mm -hmm. But it's a very, it's a complicated issue yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's not. It's not against the law to be looking at this screen, but it's also in our policy. It's disruptive to patrons mm -hmm. to have. You want to come to the library and consider it a safe space, not necessarily a place where a child or an, an adult can right. be exposed right. to that. So just mm -hmm. FYI. Um, mm -hmm. I'm also going backwards here, but.